it's your boy Frex. So, so we've all wondered how we can survive in a life or death situation, either by scrapping by with the little resources you can muster before eventually going on to become the hyper violent equivalent to Robinson Crusoe. That's exactly what the best survival games do to make you feel like you're the ruler of your own cultivated kingdom. Bear in mind, this collection of the best survival games isn't in any particular order, and that some of them are certainly have their own rough edges, they all have their pitfalls in one way or another, but make no mistake, because these are all about survival down to the dictionary definition. So number one on our list is Green Hal. By the developer of creepy jar one of the newest games on this list of the best survival games at the time of writing green hell has been compared considerably to the forest though they both have a similar mood and feel it's green hell that has the more hardcore experience and the one that will teach you how to play with some incredibly harsh lessons stranded on um, in the unwelcoming Amazon rainforest, you must escape by the however you can, though death is never far away. Whether it's because of a rattlesnake bite or eating a godman leaf, Green Hell makes no bones about how unforgiving it is. After launching out of early access, Green Hell can certainly claim that it has one of the most compelling story modes of any survival game of all time. Number two on this list is Scum by the developers of game pairs similarly to green hell scum has also been compared pretty to any other survival game however comparisons to daisy are just on a surface level of fairly lazy to boot scum is a far deeper and more malicious game that will punish even the slightest of misses in the micromanagement if you have to keep track of vitamins minerals calorie intake warmth and so much more in scum as well as it's boasting some realistic approaches to stamina and body shapes detrimenting to the kind of athlete you are your skills upgrade the more you play which is just of the many reasons why it's so captivated to so many players so early on in its development. Number three on this list is DayZ. The first of the zombie games to enter our list, it's more important to stress here that DayZ isn't going to be for everyone. In fact, whether it's down to the long stretches of nothingless and a performance that still isn't quite where it should be, there's a good chance that you're going to completely be underwhelmed by its few first hours stick with it though and also grab a few friends and daisy starts to slowly flourish however daisy as a whole is something of a slow game with a human encounters being few and far between as well as there being a likelihood that they must just kill you right out it was an early access of a for an obscene of controversial long length of the time, though 1.0 update wasn't without its problems either. Just be prepared for some issues and don't expect too much and it just have a good time. Number 4 on this list, 7 Days to Die. By the developer of Fun Pimps, another survival game that's been in a early access since week after Nelson Mandela died, Seven Days to Die and Daisy are a million miles away from each other. But it's Seven Days that arguably has the most interesting ideas. You survive for as long as you can against the hordes and the undead by building fortifications and junkie bashing their heads in. Seven Days is not the prettiest or smoothest games on this list. With some very rough textures and general lack of sheen, you can overlook that. And it can be an engaging and a very long ride. Number 5 on this list is Rust by the developer of Facebook Studios. If you are at all sensitive, do not play Rust. If you are easily frustrated, do not play Rust. If you are at all a good person, do not play Rust. Face Punch's notoriously toxic post-apocalyptic survival game is built around griefing other players just as much as it is about building itself. It's all about an unwelcoming to new players as these survival games can get. However, you are likely to find other players 
who don't want to immediately kill you despite you only having a rock. Rust becomes a whole lot of fun. Clans are a part of a long term gameplay of Rust. So you will want to find some allies as soon as you can. Or time it's more fit into more of a PvP game than a survival one. So make it what you will. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like this top 5 list. And let me let me know guys what you guys think down in the comment section below. And what other video do you want me to post next. Thank you guys for watching. And peace out.